<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Cat Lady. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, we finished this. Why are you still playing it? And I'm going to tell you why. Because at the end, it gave us so many different options on what you can do with the game. As far as, like, the ending and stuff. That I kind of just wanted to see if any of the stuff towards the end, like, mattered in the end result. If that makes sense. Like, obviously, if you don't give Misty the mask, she's going to die. So I was like, I kind of want to know what the ending is like, you know, how it changes a little bit, I guess. So we're going to do like an alternate ending episode where I just pick the random stuff that it gives me choices of towards the end of the game. And uh, I'm going to compile it all into this one episode. So let's get started. I can't help it, guys. I really miss this game. Let's be honest. Fish tank of look death. Look at this door. Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. That poor old man. Man, I feel sorry for the father. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No! Like... Alright, we're gonna skip the, doc my... the dialogue. That's my son. My where is he then? He's in his He's Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're not gonna give the mask to Mitzi. Look. What are you talking you... about? Look. Come on. Boop. There's so much talk in this game. Boop. I love it, but damn. He but a beef. Beef up it is. Just take it to Take it, Susie. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. <laughs> Take it away! Get rid of it! Take it away, I say! You Take it away! That I don't have it anymore! Shall we open it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I was like, why aren't you opening it, Susie? Because I have to tell her to open it, guys. Oh, God. Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. <laughs> Damn. This game touches on such serious subjects. It just it tra makes it all like so crazy and I love it. It's too late, Susie. At least no fish were harmed in the making of this game, guys. No fish. That's all that matters. Can't say that about Resident Evil, but you can say it's about this game. It's too late! Shit. Oh. Shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! Oh, this is- that, We'll never make it to the this door! This is the part that almost made that me cry. up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No. No, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. I... No, I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. It's so sad. Give mask to Mitzi and put mask on. I hate doing this. Scared of dying? We're not scared of dying. We're immortal, damn it. Oh, I don't want to watch Mitzi die. This is so sad. Adam's father looks like he's cackling. Okay, he doesn't look like he's cackling anymore. I'm sorry, Mitzi. But we had to know what happened. Oh, our deer friend! Follow the deer, Susie! Mr. Deer? <gasps> oh my god! This, oh. Scared the shit out of- um, oh. Oh damn. Did we die anyway? I don't know. That scared the shit out of me, that giant eye. Oh. Okay, well, something definitely different happens. Why are we here? 
We should have survived. We had a gas mask. I'm so confused, guys. So confused. What do you want? Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of all this madness. I don't know why she's back there, though. She didn't die. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Oh. Okay. There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. Alright, last time we didn't blow any of the candles. So and this time... It. This time we're going to. I blow out the last candle. Am I forgetting something? Yeah, that you're a major bitch. Ah, oh, yes. Of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Thank you, Susie. Now I know who you really are. All those feelings that I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there. Always watching. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. Blow out the left candle. Well done, Susan. Did it matter what candle we chose? That's my current question. Where are we? I can't see. Oh, there you are, Susie. I can see you now, Susie. I still don't understand, because, um, she should have been alive, but... So what happens now that Mitzi's not going to be holding the gun against Adam? Hi, Adam. How's Hello, it going? Hello, Adam. Mitzi is dead. Are you happy now? You don't have to answer. I'm not sure if you even can, but you got what you wanted. Congratulations. What are you anyway? You're paralyzed, aren't you? How convenient for you. I guess if you weren't, you'd be making a brilliant final speech right now. Something movie villains always do. You'd explain why you wished all those people dead. And then we would fight. Good versus evil. The way it always goes. But I don't know what's good and what's evil anymore. Perhaps I am the evil one here. I've done some horrible things. I let my friend die right in front of me. Because... All for an experiment, Susie. Because I'm scared of dying. Funny, isn't it? Susan Ashworth, a miserable reject who used to fantasize about suicide, chose to live after all. But this is your life we should talk about here, you parasite. You saw it all on your camera. Your own father choking to death after all those years he spent providing for you. You ungrateful pig. No kidding. And Mitzi, she gave up her only chance for revenge and sacrificed her life for me. Do you think I owe it to her to kill you? Oh, he's gonna talk. 
What shall you say, sir? Enlighten me with your eye conversations. Do it. How clever. Is this how you murder people? That device on your eye. It's a controller, isn't it? I can see why you're known as the Eye of Adam now. That evil eye is the only part of you that works. That and your brain, of course. All rotten inside. You have no idea what you've done, do you? You've made people kill themselves using just words on the screen. In a way, you are a very powerful man. Kill Adam, let Adam live. Oh, we have a choice. How are we going to kill him, Susie? Um... Okay, we let him live last time. I don't know. Let's kill him. Your wish shall be granted. How are you going to do it, Susie? Is she going to go and get a gun? Revenge. Oh. A cigarette. Okay. Well, that's one way to do it. But won't this hurt her too? Unless she gets away really quick. Look at that cigarette fly, guys. Oh wow. Oh, that's graphic. I wasn't expecting it from the side I was looking at the apartments across. I wonder if everyone in the, um, wouldn't everyone in the building get poisoned, like, because of, like, vent, vent systems and all that kind of stuff? Maybe not? No? Apparently not. It's me. Again. Talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Aww. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. No, you'll it always be the cat lady. To sacrifice her own life for the sake of mine. A decision that made me realize that people can still care about me. While her life was almost over anyway, she gave up on one thing that was most important to her. Revenge. And we and got she it did for it her. For me. But if I really did become immortal for that short time in my life, wasn't it unnecessary for Mitzi to die before her time? Poisoned like a rat. Well, one thing's for sure. I made that fucker pay for it. I still miss her, though. That's Every so day. sad. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes. And I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them. Tried to help. I think this part's all the same, so I'm going to clip it out, and I'll bring you guys back in when we uh, restart and see what happens when Mitzi actually uh, shoots him. All right, guys. We're with Susie again, and we're going to blow out the right candle and see if that makes any difference in the game. Well done, Susan. I guess not. So no matter what, you're going to blow out the right candle. I guess that's always good to know. Hi, Mitzi. Tomato. Surprise! You were thinking about a tomato, right? I would be freaking the shit out if I was Mitzi. 
She'd be like, look, I saw you get poisoned. How are you alive? Like, really? Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. Exactly. You are here. Alive, like... If nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. She's really going to accept that explanation, too. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. Yeah, Missy just I'm like, okay. I'm one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. But that's why we're friends. Hearts all around. But I'm so around. happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, alright? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. Oh, Mitzi, the true friend's the end. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Let's open that door and see what he's made of. And we're just gonna skip through all this dialogue because we've already heard it. Hi, Adam. You're looking, uh, well. Yo. Is this a joke? No, I wonder who the people are above is like are those his victims? Like he has a whole bunch of pictures of people's well, faces just up there. And who put them up there? He can't do it. Mitzi. It doesn't you off. Beg for What the fuck is You don't believe I'm Look, he, I th That's... Do so I need... He won't aunt then. Poor Mitzi. Hope he's talking now. We meet at last. How? I think I see that I've heard. It seems the only part of his body he can control. What? How do you? Uh, Jesus. That would explain. I just want to get to the shooting part. But so much dialogue in this episode. Just... Oh, she's back at it. Do it. Shit! I will fucking do it! Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Poor Mitzi. I feel so bad for her, guys. Why did you make Jack kill himself? Hope he's talking again. He's egging you on, Mitzi. Let's do it. Fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Look at these oxygen tanks. 
You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Look at these oxygen tanks. What? You hear me? Look at me. I want you to see what you've done. The pain. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put. No, no. This is. Can't you hear that hissing? Please. You're me. I just leave me. Fine, kill him. Fine, kill him. Let's see what happens. This is from Jack. Oh, same, same thing. Except this time, we're not gonna be alive either. I wonder what happens. Obviously, she can't be writing a blog. It's me, again, talking oh. about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things I don't know how you could be. Since Mitzi's death. She made a terrible mistake by letting her hatred take over. Whatever time she had left, she lost it right there when she pulled the trigger. It was Adam's final victory. He wanted to die, after all. But he also managed to take one more soul with him. How did Susie survive that? Lucky, for once. Hardly even got injured. The explosion just swept me out of that room, and I stayed alive. Oh. I wish I was able to stop Mitzi. To talk her out of it. To talk but her out of it? You told her I'm not to do sure it. if I'm more angry with her for firing that gun, or with myself for failing to save her. I still miss her, though. Every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop six months later, and there it was. A friend request. Something I forgot about a long time ago. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out. All right, sometimes. guys. I think that was the only and thing I'm different. Not alone anymore. All right, guys. Well, that is the end of the Cat Lady, and I won't be doing any more episodes of this, which makes me sad. But I wanted to go ahead and do like the alternate stuff to see what like changed in the game and stuff as far as the ending. And that's all that changed was you know just her little speaking parts and stuff. But it's kind of cool that each thing kind of made her change her discussion each time. So if you like this video, press that like button. I know it was short and I'm sorry. Uh, press that subscribe button if you want to watch more of my videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!